Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I'm Sean Anderson, Most Valuable Podcast, and today we are doing NFL draft needs for the 2017 NFL draft. And you probably just saw me because I did the New England Patriots video, and now I'm here for the Atlanta Falcons because they lost the Super Bowl. And as a Patriots fan, I just want to say my condolences to all of the Atlanta Falcons fans because I don't know what it's like to blow a 25-point lead in the Super Bowl. Yes, I know what it's like to lose in a late game in the Super Bowl because Eli Manning and the Giants have beaten us twice, but I don't know what it's like to blow a 25-point lead. No one's ever blown that big of a lead in Super Bowl history. I mean, it, it must be heartbreaking for everyone to bring up that you blew a 25-point lead in the Super Bowl to the New England Patriots. I mean, I just feel so bad that you blew a 25-point lead in the Super Bowl because you were right there. You had a 25-point lead in the Super Bowl, yet you don't have a Super Bowl ring. So I, my sincerest apologies to you and all of your family members who are Atlanta Falcons fans because I, I feel so bad that you blew a 25-point lead to my New England Patriots. But anyways, we're going through the NFL draft meets for every single NFL team. And right now, obviously, we're going through the Atlanta Falcons. They have the 31st pick because, again, they blew a 25-point lead. They have a second rounder. They have a third rounder, a fourth rounder, a fifth rounder, and a seventh rounder. So not a lot of picks, but they do have most of them outside of that sixth rounder. Uh, and there's three positions that they really need to attack. Guard is one of them. You have Andy LaRitri, but outside of that, you need some help at the guard position. You need some depth. You need you need some depth in case anyone goes down because Alec Max was a nice addition. addition. Your tackles are good, but you need some guard help to open up some lanes for Freeman and, and Coleman. And you need to give uh, Matt Ryan as much time as possible because that guy can do a lot of damage, especially with Julio Jones and the weapons he has on the outside. And we saw that uh, with the 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 uh, unreal offense the Atlanta Falcons put out last year. And getting guard help to you know really sure up that line uh, is, is something that you really can't go and, and just let waste because you know if you let leave one hole open, uh, you're going to be allow Matt Ryan to get attacked and get sacked, and that's going to really hurt your team's ability to get back to the Super Bowl and, and blow a 25 point lead again. The second position and need that you have is defensive end. Obviously, Dwight Franey is not the same player that he was. I think he retired because he was just out of it. And, and he could barely play you know, all three downs, list, let alone three downs at a drive. So you need some defensive end help. Vic Beasley's a monster. But outside of that, there's not a guy that can really attack the quarterback. And you need to go out and get a guy uh, at the defensive end position, whether that's with the 31st overall pick because you do a, blew a 25-point lead or in the second round or, or, or third round because you need someone at, at, at a quality position at, at the defensive end spot to really put pressure on opposing quarterbacks like Cam, Drew Brees, uh, Jameis Winston, and then obviously the other play, uh, other quarterbacks you'll face this year in, in, in the playoffs, uh, you know, guys like Aaron Rodgers. Uh, you put a lot of pressure on them in, in, in the playoffs, and you, and you need to get someone at the defensive end help to put pressure on them again this year. And then obviously the last spot is defensive tackle because I know you signed uh, John, uh, Don Terry Poe, uh, but he's only on a one-year deal, and you don't know if he's going to resign next year to a long-term deal. He's going to want a long-term deal next year, so you get, need to get a guy behind him to fill up uh, if he does end up leaving. And he might go down because he's a guy that has been injury-prone before, so you need some depth there at defensive tackle to, again, keep some pressure on quarterbacks and opposing quarterbacks in the NFL. So tell me what you think the Falcons need to address in the NFL draft. Tell us in the comments down below. And there, are there any specific uh, players that you want to go to the Falcons because I know at least on defense they go for guys that are high speed, highly athletic. Are there any guys that you really have your eye on in those late rounds with for that fifth or seventh round pick? Tell me in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we have draft teams, 30 more videos coming out for NFL draft needs. Me, Mark, Ricky, Dave, Swanee are all going to be doing this, so check all of those out because we're coming out uh, six, six a day, I think, was what Ricky said. So check that out. Don't forget to subscribe to, so you don't miss any of them. Also check out patreon.com slash podcast. We got this nice, lovely green screen. I don't know if touching is going to mess it up. We got this nice green screen because of the lovely people at patreon.com. So go check out patreon.com if you want to help us get some cool stuff like that. But I'm Sean Anderson, and we'll see you next time.